Welcome to Architezi, the place where architecture becomes simple and fun. In today's tutorial, we are going to transform a simple Revit model into a photorealistic render using a D5 render. If you don't have D5 render installed yet, no worries. You can download it for free from a link in the video description. And if you are new to Revit, we got you covered with over 4 hours of free Revit training available on our platform. And you can find the link in the video description as well. So, let's get started. In front of me is a very simple Revit model I made for this purpose. And as you could see, it's made of the couple of walls. So we have two wall types, 300 and 200 millimeters. And then we also have a couple of floors. So this one here, then we have this one for the pebbles and we have this one for the water surface. And if you take a look at the ceiling, we have a slab here and then I'm going to isolate this one. We have this ceiling, which was made as a slope glazing with empty curtain panel. Then we have the fixed distance of 200 for the grid one and grid two and the one million of 20 by 100 millimeters. And if you take a look here to the wall, you will see that our wall has a couple of reveals which are 20 by 20 millimeters and then we have this horizontal reveal here which will be our shadow gap. And if you would like to know more about the shadow gaps just take a look at the video in a card above. And now before I start the D5 I first have to go here to the settings and then you need to select which categories you need to export separately. In this case, I'm going to export everything separately. I'm going to click save and then I'm going to start D5 render. I'm starting a new project, so that's what I'm going to pick. So now when the elements are loaded into D5, the first thing I'm suggesting you to do is to go here to the file and then to save your file. Name your scene. And then in this case, I'm going to go to the walk mode and then I'm going to walk to our space inside. So you see how our space look like. You see that we have just this opening for, for the light source. And then I'm going to try to pick the correct angle. So once you're satisfied with the angle, you can simply go here, click add scene, add to scene. And then we have this camera angle settled and then I'm going to set up and to add some materials. So the first material I'm going to add will be water and I can try this one. It's okay. Then I'm going to go down here and I will just type here pebbles. I hope this one will work well. And then you don't need to go up. You can simply click on your scene and the D5 is going to bring you back. And let's add some materials to the floors. So for that, I will try to see if we have any travertine. I like this one. And then also I'm going to add that one to the walls as well. So let's go to the wood and let's see which kind of wood we have. Okay. I. I will try this black one. I like how it looks like. And basically that's it when it comes to material. So you see it's quite simple. It, it goes very easily. And let's add some models to our, to our scene. So again go to the assets. So in this case I will go to the model. And I will look for some kind of bench. We can try this new Chinese pine bench. So I'm going to place it there and then I'm simply going to rotate this for 90 degrees. And then I'm going to, to move it so it match our view nicely. I can simply maybe go a bit right, something like this. And let's say that we would like to add something more. And I will go to some chandeliers so I can search, let's say for a modern keyword in a chandeliers. We can try this one. Okay. 
so in this case i'm just going to rotate this one for 90 degrees something like this and then i'm just going to move this a little bit to the left maybe it can stand like this then go to the scene i'm going to save it so now what i'm going to do will be to go here on the image and then i'm going to make the frame rate the aspect ratio to one on one and then we'll pick 4k for the preset size and i'm going to fix the focal length so something like this maybe will work fine let's put 26 millimeters i will update the scene and also this is quite important from my point of view i don't like to have this auto exposure on so what i would like to do is to control the exposure by myself then i will try to adjust the light so let's see how it will be 630 something i don't like here is this sharp shadows so i'm going to move this to let's say 735 740 i will then go here to the effects and then we'll adjust scene a little bit so something like this then let's see the exposure and the shadows so i can just maybe make this a little bit brighter we'll decrease this and then let's see so this in general looks fine to me i will go here to update the scene and what i can do now is just to go here and to hit the render button then you just need to pick a proper folder and to name the file and to click save so now the render is done and i'm going to open it and here comes the final result here comes the render so please write in the comments what do you think about this do you like it or no and what do you think about this process until now but let me show you one more thing so let's say that now we would like to change the material to our walls so if i go to assets and if i let's say go here to the wall tiles they have a very nice materials here so let's say that i would like to try this rock wall so if i go and if i assign it and let's say i just need to make it a bit bigger so this seems fine but what i don't like here is that all of the walls have the same material but not all of the floors so you probably wonder why and i will go to the revit model and then here i'm going to show you why that happens so if i make a cut here you will see that this floor has by category material this floor for pebbles has concrete cast in place material while this floor for for water has something i call countertop so it doesn't matter how they are named in revit it's quite important that they are different but if i go to our floor plan we have two wall types so this 300 millimeters wall type has by category material while 200 millimeters is the same so let's say that i would like to change the material for 200 millimeters so i would like to i can just add here this clad white for example and then i would like to make this wall to have the other material as well so i will just make a duplicate and then here we'll assign i can duplicate this material and let's just name this as a clad wall clad white 2 so the appearance of material in revit is not important at all for this so now what we need to do is to go here to sync model and then i'm going to replace and link the walls so now in d5 you see that those walls uh, are different so they have not the same material as this front wall and let's say that i would like to add some other material to them let's say white wall paint or this white rough wall to this one 
and I can just increase this to let's say 075 while I can add this yellow white and bump to the other one. And then I'm just going to go here for a wood and I can maybe assign this wood to our ceiling. And then we'll go back to the scene. So now what I can do, I can just create one more scene. And for this scene, I will just make this to be, let's say, 22 millimeters. And then I will go here and we'll pick this 69 ratio, will go to 4K. And what's very important to know is that you can also assign the channels for your render. So let's say that I would like to have ambient occlusion, material ID, reflection. So that's it, maybe Z depth. You can just hit render and then name your render, your file, go save and wait. So you see, it took one minute and 40 seconds. It, it's pretty fast, it's pretty quick. And here comes the second render. By the way, both of them, this is the first one and this is the second one, they have a zero post-production. So this came out directly from D5. I didn't put it in Photoshop, didn't do anything. This is the raw D5 result. And that's how you create a photorealistic render from a simple Revit model using a D5 render. If you haven't already, don't forget to download D5 render for free from the link in the description below and also check out our free Revit training. Thanks for watching.